5%. Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. And, uh, well, this is going to be a little series where I'm going to show you how I do it. When I decide that I want to play around with radios, um, now you might see that this is with a um, an SDR, but you know the same applies to uh, a regular receiver. So if I take a portable radio like the Texan receivers or whatever, it's the same thing. So on the left side, the radio. On the right side, what I use mainly um, EIBI space.de. Two lists. The left side is by time. The right side is by frequency. So now it's zero hours UTC. So zero hours and nine minutes, actually. If I would like to know what's on at zero UTC, I would go here, check the list by time. And on this list by time, I would actually look at the zero UTC mark. What is there to listen to? Uh, in this uh, list. So here we go. What's in here? You could see the different stations and different things. Lots of codes, lots of things that might be mysterious for a lot of people, but that's why I'm doing this little series so that this mysterious list is less mysterious uh, for everybody. So by time, I could look at the stations and so on. But often what I do, and that's what we're going to do now, is we're going to go at the other list, which is by frequency. And on the other list, I'll be able to actually check out what is available uh, and what I can listen to on the frequencies that I'm tuning. For example, 7375 kilohertz right now. It's in English. So now we know that there's a station in English on 7375 kilohertz. What could it be? It's zero hours and 10 minutes. So what I'll do is I will use the search feature of the browser, which is, of course, control F on Windows. Oops, on the wrong window here. I'm going to go here. So control F, or if you're on a Mac, it's command F. And there's a little search box, and I will enter the frequency I'm listening to, 7375. This will give me and actually have a search to the frequency I'm searching for in this list. And the frequency of 7375 is here. So it's a little slow, sorry about that. This computer is a little underpowered, and uh, it takes a little time. So, I told you it was zero hours universal time. We know it's in English, because we can hear it, that this is English. So, what's in English at zero UTC? It's easy because there's only one broadcast in English at zero UTC listed here, so we are pretty sure that it must be this one here, which is 7375. Eastern, and here we go, Radio Romania International. So what does the codes mean here? Frequency, 7375, what we're listening to. Second, 0 to 01 UTC. So that's a one-hour broadcast that is on this frequency. ROU for Romania. It's the um, location of the station, basically. Be warned, it's not the location of the transmitter site. It's just telling you that this is a station from Romania. Radio, Romania International. E for English. ENA for Eastern North America. It's the target area. That's why it is received well here. And finally, the last is a abbreviation for the transmitter site. In this case, T, a small T, means Tiganesti, which is the Romanian transmitter site of Radio Romania. So that means it's direct from Romania and that you're listening to Radio Romania International. So that's the first example. <clears throat> Let's uh, go to 7420. 7420. Oh, I'm in USB, sorry. 
3420. I didn't even notice that I was on USB, that's why it was sounded weird. So 7420. I'm not really sure what that is. I'm not really sure of what um, language it is. But we're going to go see what's on 7420 at this time. What's on 7420 at this time? 0 to zero 01 UT or whatever. So there are a few things in here. Um, it's not the US National Guard AL. AL is a digital mode, that's for sure. Uh, what else do we have? We have China, but it, only one broadcast in, from China is right now going on. By experience, two things tell me this is not China. At this time, China on 7420, I don't think so. But also that this is not Mandarin. I, definitely, I know that this is not Chinese. So it can't be the PBS station here. What's left? 7420 at this time. 0 to zero 02. Radio Romania International. Again. Now, what's the abbreviations? 7420. 0 to zero 02 UT. We're in that time range. Romania, Radio Romania International, in RO, which is Romanian, and for Eastern North America, once again, and f with that small g, it's the other, there are two transmitter sites in Romania for Radio Romania, that's the other transmitter site in Romania, so, once again, Radio Romania International, okay, this is a radio teletype signal, 490, a very weak station. How about we go down? What's on 7335? 7335. It's in Spanish. That I know. What could be in Spanish at 7335 at this time? Knowing the language that you're listening to is a big, big help in identifying a station. So this is cool for that. So this is definitely Spanish. What's in Spanish on this frequency? What is uh, in Spanish here? There's a possibility of China radio, but no, it's not in zero hours UTC time range, so it can't be that. What else is left? Well, we have zero to zero four UT, Radio Marti, and there's really nothing else in Spanish that we can actually identify from. So it has to be Radio Marti. Now, what does the abbreviations and what does it mean? 7335 is the frequency. 0 to zero 04 UTC is the time that they're broadcasting for our block. USA is the station, is a US station. Radio Marti. S for Spanish, C U B for Cuba. That means it's broadcasting towards Cuba. And here, the small g, and you know, that's another thing that you might be a little confused. It's like, well, didn't we see a small g for the transmitter side and, um, you know, for Radio Romania? Yeah, but it's not the same thing. This one is from Greenville in North Carolina, in the United States. So, you know, it, you got to get used to all the different abbreviations and stuff. And uh, this is from the U.S. And it's Radio Marti towards Cuba. So that's the way I do it. And we're going to do a little more tonight. We're going to go and go through the different frequency ranges of like the 49 meter band and so on. And we're going to use these abbreviations. And we're going to try to have you learn a little more in understanding what is what and how to use them. And I hope you enjoyed this series of videos uh, for sure. Now, let's go down a little lower, 7235. So what's what's below that? What's below 72335? Really nothing much in terms of signals from stations, honestly. There's something on 7290, but that's a known frequency for AMers. And below that, it's... I, from experience, I see that this is single sideband signals. It's amateur radio signals, actually. Now, if we go above, let's go to 
goes up to 75. Anything in the 75, so 74. 7455 is a radio teletype signal. Let's go up. Nothing there. Up. Up. There's something on 7780 here. Let's check it out. 7780. So this is a language that I don't know what it is. Once again, searching through the list of frequencies. 7780. Let's go to 7780. Now 7780. One thing that helps a lot is that it is a known frequency that is only used by one broadcaster, which is WRMI in Florida. But they have different types of broadcast on that same frequency. So now it's identifying what is the broadcast right now. It's simply searching for right the right time. So zero hours UTC. Seven seven eight zero. Yes, zero to zero thirty. We got it here. Radio Slovakia. Now what's the abbreviations? 7780 is a frequency. It's a 30 minute show. SVK is the abbreviation from Slovakia. It's the station's origin, but not the transmitter site once again. Radio Slovakia International. SK is that it's in Slovak. ENA, meant for Eastern North America. And slash USA O. O for Okeechobee, Florida, and the United States. So this is a WRMI transmission. I know it's a lot of information, but as time goes by, it kind of gets in your brain and you kind of just remember it all. So remember, if you remember USAO, that means, oh, it's Okeechobee, Florida, and USA. You, you get used to it after a while. You know, I understand that these lists are not easy to grasp, and there's a lot of knowledge behind it, and there's a lot of understanding, but the reason I'm doing this right now is to help everybody maybe try to understand a little more uh, how to use them. And we're going to continue using them uh, tonight and uh, do more videos like this. Hope you enjoy. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.